Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Um, Chinese New Year is coming. I want to wish you all Zhan Zi Gao Fei. Yeah, go prosperity ever, forever. And so I butterfly the fish so that when later when it cook, it's going to like flip out like that. <laughs> How do you body butterfly the, the, the fish is actually not difficult. You just uh, cut it right beside one of the, the, the bone, the main bone. Then, uh, but you don't cut it through. Then you will get something like this. And I found this, uh, not a uh, room, uh, Sun Hock, yeah, Sun Hock fish. Um, from uh, the, the seafood truck this morning very fresh about this is about how much is selling eh? uh, this is about 800 gram uh, 1 kg about 85 or something like that yeah if you eat this fish outside usually it's 200 ringgit per kg yeah at the restaurant so this one cook at home beautiful so I bought this fish for probably about 70 ringgit okay so uh, my definitely my very favorite fish because the meat is very meaty yeah you can see the this is already cut into half but this is very very thick and also very flaky nice super super nice my most favorite fish at all but too expensive to eat outside okay so um so what i do is let me see our okay i actually prepare a, a, a steaming plane and later i'm going to use the same plate for for serving also uh, reason being when you butter after you butterfly cut the fish it's actually harder for you to move the fish over because it can break very easily uh, but i was still going i will still uh, remove the fishy water the the steamed fish water later yeah so at the bottom i actually put few slices of ginger to raise the fish up a little bit and on top i also uh, put few pieces of ginger and i make few slits on the uh on the sides on the body of the fish and then um, to make it easier to be cooked and we will marinate it with a little bit of salt All right so we will have some uh, ginger slices um, spring onion in cold water why you want to cold water because it will cool up inside cold water like this nice and then some fried garlic the more the merrier so you get ready a steamer the water must be boiling uh, make sure the steam is already gotten away then only you put in the fish if not you are going to hurt your hand now this is not the per perfect size <laughs> uh, I think mine is probably 32 and this space is actually a little bit too long, but still, it can be done. I, I still can cover the whole thing. Right, I'm going to, because I have some opening, so I'm going to steam this fish a little bit longer than usual. Uh, usual is about 10 minutes, so this one probably about 13 to 15 minutes. I will, this, I will check later. So I will use the medium high heat and set for 15 minutes. Later, I will check to see whether it's fully cooked or not. Meanwhile, we will make the sauce. So while waiting for the fish, we won't waste our time. We will make the steamed fish sauce. It's actually not difficult at all. I have one small bowl of chicken stock here. To give it enhanced flavor. This why I use chicken stock. If you don't have chicken stock, you can use hot water. And this is garlic oil. Right? So this is going to further enhance the flavor as well. A bit of light soy sauce. About one tablespoon, uh, a little bit of my favorite fish sauce. All the ingredients I use is it will be written inside the ingredient list, the description, yeah, video description. So that is the fish sauce, and I'm going to add a bit of oyster sauce. Okay. Some people will add Saoxing wine, I don't, so personal preference. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of sugar.
So make sure everything is nicely dissolved. If you prefer darker color, you may add a bit of dark soy sauce. Yeah, that is for the sake of color. I actually prefer lighter color. So once everything inside is dissolved, it's the steam fish sauce is basically done. And it's very, very fragrant. So let's just wait for our fish. Okay, this is approximately 12, 13 minutes. Like I said, normally I would steam it for about 10, 11. Uh, but this round, because it's, we have some uh, quite a bit of openings here, so I steam it a slightly longer. Let me double check. Whoa, it is definitely cooked. You can see the ice is already bulging out. Oops, very hot. Be careful with the steam. And look at the beautiful uh, chicks. Yeah, fish chicks. And look at how flashy it is and how um, white the, col the color of the fish is. And all this fishy water we don't want. Now, at the restaurant, they will, they will actually take the whole plate and try to take uh, uh, remove the fishy water. But I think I'll probably try to see whether if I can move this fish to a serving plate so that um, I can totally get rid of all the um, fishy water. But like I said, you have to be very delicate here because after you butter cut, butterfly cut the fish, the fish is very vulnerable. It's already cooked. Okay, luckily I managed to keep the fish intact. <laughs> I used a knife and a spatula to help. Okay, uh, moving the fish. So I'm going to, of course, we want to remove the ginger. All the fishy water is still in the steaming plate just now, so that this fish now has uh, will not be fishy anymore. So this is some. Um, I'm a ginger person. If you find my ginger is a little bit bluish, it's because this is the real uh, a sign telling you this I'm using a real bentong ginger. Usually, those the wild ginger is a little bit bluish. Let's bring on in. And then, of course, our fish sauce, steamed fish sauce. If you don't want to make it home, you can just buy those in the bottle. Many brands has it. And we can actually sprinkle this with a lot of uh, fried garlic. And Towards the end, before serving, usually the restaurant will also splash a little bit of uh, hot oil on top. You can choose to do it or not, up to you. But that would actually help to enhance the flavor and the aroma of the ginger and also the garlic and also onion that when it's served to you, you can really smell the fish. Smell so good. Okay, I just very quickly heat up some oil. Right, done. As good as what you will get from uh, the restaurant, but uh, at Appa Home, it cost me less than 100, outside 200. <laughs> so I hope you like my very simple video today. Happy Chinese New Year to you all. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come Cooking Appa Facebook fan page or click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Now, if you don't, if you can't find Sun Hao, uh, another fish which is very good, uh, suitable for butterfly cut is actually the Garupa. Yeah, you can use garupa or the tiger grouper. The, choose those meat which is very thick and fatty, and then it's, that looks nicer when it is uh, fully spread out. Alright, bye-bye!